Hello Capricorn and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach and I help you choose growth and heal your inner roots. I have an intuitive message for you today about your inner world and your outer world. We will look at both of them. And I really want to get started, so I want to ask, how are we drawing the cards today? Left to right. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Conflict on the inside, Two of Cups on the inside, and then, aha, I've been waiting for this card, Ace of Wands on the outside. Okay, we're going to start inside. Are we talking about a relationship or an inner relationship? Okay, I'm getting the word both. So, you know, this, this is pretty cut and dried. We've got union, a partnership coming together. We also have that partnership engaged in conflict in our nine of wands over here. And it's as if you've got both ends going on. You have this desire to come together this desire to blend and harmonize and integrate. And yet you also have this territorial energy that is pushing apart. So we've got this push pull going on where the energies, you and this other person want to come together, but then there's also this pushing apart. It's like there's certain places where you don't allow each other to go and where you're actually very defensive about maintaining your own space and maintaining your own territory. So, okay, why is there this inner fight? Okay, they're asking me to look at the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands happens when you look, lose sight of the fact that you are on the same page. I know that seems very simple and basic, but... <laughs> It's as if sometimes you forget that you both want the same things, that you're both on the same team, and that perhaps the two of you are too similar. We've got this doubles, the same birds, the same birds, the same birds. And so there's a similarity between the two of you. So when you're both wanting to come together, it's amazing. When you're both wanting to push away, it's doubly strong because you're, you're the same. All right, so the energy is just magnified. Sometimes in relationships, we see the other, where one person wants to come closer and then the other one pulls away. And then that person wants to come closer. And so it's that. But with you, it's either this together very strong or this together very explosively. Now, there is so much more happening on this Two of Cups card. We have that DNA thing with the with the water coming down, we have a fern being nurtured by the mutuality of this relationship. And there's a lot of joy and vulnerability in this partnership. So there's also, we've got flowers. We've got, <laughs> it's just such a happy card. And there's so much more going when there's a union there. When there's this conflict, it's not as strong as the union, but it does kind of pull at it a bit. All right, so what is the bigger message here? How is this about within the person? So Capricorn, this is about getting very clear with your own desires for and about this partnership. The conflict happens because you are conflicted within yourself about this relationship or this coming together. You know, I know I'm saying relationship, this can also mean partnership. It's close. I'm feeling more that it is about a significant other type partnership, but this can be really describing any relationship you see yourself involved in at the moment. So this is about getting clear about what you want. Do you want to have these territories? Do you want to have all of this blend together? What is it exactly that you want? Now, this is so important to figure out because our next cards, it almost feels as if we're looking at the universe and not just your external environment because 
We have destiny wanting to turn for you and we have divine guidance wanting to start something new for you. And these cards look and feel a bit chaotic, a bit stormy to me, like a very electric. So going back to what we talked about Capricorn, you with this other person is about magnification. So intimacy is either magnified, closeness is magnified, loving communication is magnified, or separateness, defensiveness, territorialness, antagonism, that's amplified. What this means is that the universe is really responding very um, assiduously to this energy for you. And that whatever you decide about your desire, whether you want to come closer together or you want to come, you, you do want a separation, you do want territory, this energy comes in very fast for you. This energy manifests very fast for you. And we have all the elements here. We have lightning coming to light this feather on fire. So it, it combines with electricity to create, or electricity combines with air to create this fire. Okay, so you could have this fire that is burning and drawing the two of you together. Or you could have this lightning that separates the two of you. You see the birds kind of go apart. They're, ah, when the right lightning comes down. And there's a yin and yang idea. We have a, an eagle and a, an owl, so daytime, nighttime. So again, this idea of partnership, of doubles, right? Uh, opposites. So this can ignite very fast for you. And it will ignite very fast, but then there's also another kind of push coming from the universe, this Wheel of Fortune card, which says, okay, you know, wherever you decide you want to move, that's where we're, what we're going to do. My guides are saying it tangled in a web. So whatever you decide with this relationship, where you want your desire to be with this relationship, that is going to create a web. That's going to create a series of interconnected destinies and trajectories and situations that are interlocking, they're intermeshing, and it will be very difficult to get out of this once you're in. You know, that stuck in a spider web, tangled in a spider web. I'm, I'm thinking of Lord of the Rings where Frodo gets stuck in in Shelob's lair, you know, you, it's very difficult to get out. So that's why it's very important to decide which one of these you're doing. I know which one hold, holds more richness for your soul, but Capricorn, it's going to mean that you have to completely let go of any need for territor territorialism, any need to keep something separate or defensive or hidden. It's going to mean total commitment to union, total commitment to sharing and being open and being vulnerable. It's going to mean all of that. So, you know, whatever you're weaving at the moment has really strong energy, has really strong manifesting potential at this moment. We are in the middle of the Lion's Gate portal, and this is an important moment for you, okay? So just be very clear and very careful about what it is that you're asking for, because destiny is going to bring it to you. All right, Capricorn. <laughs> wow, big, big, big stuff right there. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you would like to reach out or inquire about a personal reading, there is information below in the description that will tell you how you can do that. I will look forward to seeing you next time right here.